Good morning, everyone. It's grocery haul time, and it's definitely reset time. I don't know about you, but I am over it. I am done with the junk food. I don't like the way I feel when I eat like that. I'm glad it's over. I feel like I did okay. You know, I ate on track probably 50% of the time, but I am ready to start giving my body what it is craving, which is the foods that I have grown accustomed to eating. You know, do you notice that, that when you eat, you know, I used to hate oatmeal as an example. I never ate oatmeal my entire life. I never ate oatmeal. And when I started eating it as, you know, a good healthy carbohydrate, my body started craving it. Sometimes I actually wake up in the morning and my body says, where is the oatmeal? So that's a good thing, I think. But I am very happy that the holidays are over and it's time to get back on track. I apologize for my voice. I am fighting a little something, something. I don't have COVID. I can tell you that at least. At least the test that I have says that I don't have COVID. You know, my kids have had it again, and both of them tested negative with the at-home test, but they tested positive at the urgent care. So I am not urgent care status at all, but if I do have it again, this will be round four for me. So um, it's possible that I guess I could have it testing negative and I'm just not super, super symptomatic. I don't have a fever or anything like that, but, um, but I got a little something going on here. And I have what I always call the COVID rash. I get that every single time that I get it. I break out all over my stomach and my back on these little dotty looking things. They kind of look like measles. Anyway, all of that said, we're supposed to be talking about groceries. So... I don't have a ton to get because you know when you're cooking you have a, you stock up on all the things that you need to cook with so I have pretty much everything to make any sort of recipe so I didn't need a lot of things but I did need some things my healthy things that I need to round out my time here in St. Louis eating and I've mentioned this before I'm not sure when I'm gonna go back to Florida I do have a plane ticket in about a week and a half so We'll see how that goes. I think I'm going back then, but we'll see. Anyway, let's jump into this grocery haul. All right, so here are the things that I needed that I was missing and I wanted to eat this week. So I picked up another gigantic thing of coffee. This is my favorite coffee, the Green Mountain Dark Magic. I love it. I love roasty dark coffee. So I needed some more of that. I picked up a giant 48 thing of that. I need some tea. So I love the honey vanilla chamomile. This is really nice at night. And I do put like a teaspoon of honey in it when I'm not feeling great. Like right now, I'll put a little tiny bit of honey. And I do feel like that helps with a cough. So I grabbed some of that. That's great for nighttime. Now, listen, this is sort of a transition um, grocery haul for me, little mini grocery haul, because I am transitioning out of the bad habits that I sort of began forming again in the last few weeks. So this is a little bit transitional. You're going to see more carbs than usual in this grocery haul because I'm moving away from the garbage carbs, like the cookies and the brownies and all that kind of stuff, to stuff that's a little bit better. So I do need a little bit of a mid-range transition. So you will see some more carbs in here because I'm not doing anything hardcore if I do, I fail. So, you know, such as beets, this is a good little transition because it does have good healthy carbs and also beets kind of hit the sweet note for me. And I totally get that they, they taste like dirt. I acknowledge that, but I love them. So I got a thing of these small beets, zero points and five grams of carbs for a half a cup. Now I'll usually eat a half a can, but that's okay. I don't, I don't worry about that with that type of food. I also picked up some zero sugar chocolate caramel creamer. This is a great three o'clock for me. I love having a fully caffeinated drink at three o'clock and I like to put some creamer in it because I drink black coffee in the morning. Only two carbs in that and I'll only put one or two tablespoons. I do measure that by the way. All right, I of course had to get cucumbers and I got nine of them as I always do. I didn't wanna get all nine out, but that's what I get is the English cucumbers. Now, many of you have asked, if how do I keep this many cucumbers fresh? Well, first off, like honestly, I eat one whole cucumber. I really honestly do. I love them to that level. So we go through them really quickly, but if they ever last like a week, they're still fine because these are, they consider these to be seedless. So they don't get like, um, I don't know, gooey, is that a word? So that never happens with these. So if you've never tried these, maybe give them a try. And look at this. 
I found their sister, their little miniature little sister. These little baby mini cucumbers, I've never had these before. But when I saw them, I, I had to have them. I, there was no turning back. So I'm going to try those out. I also picked up three things of these Idahoan buttery mashed potatoes. I really like these um, with a little bit of gravy over them. And my granddaughter loves them because they take like three minutes to make or something. So I got these. These will transition me out of baked potatoes and mashed potatoes and things like that. And I know what you're thinking, you know, what's wrong with eating a potato? Trust me, there's something wrong with it for me because I know me and I know that I will load it with a half a stick of butter. But with this, I do not do that. I'll have one quarter cup measured of this because they're not that good. I mean, they're good, but they're not so good that I'm going to eat the whole bag. No, never. So just enough to get that potato feeling out. And then I put a little bit, two tablespoons usually, of the fat-free roasted gravy that comes in a little glass jar. Totally fine. Under control. So I got a few of those. Then I also picked up another um, Trader Joe's Reduced Gilt Mac and Cheese. On this, I usually do eat the whole box and I'll pair it with a salad. You do have some carbs in this too. A lot of them actually, 40 carbs. But again, I'm transitioning, so I live in reality. I also picked up some Trader Joe's mashed cauliflower. This is the one that is like little um, pellets maybe, little frozen pellets. So you can just have as many as you want. You could eat this whole bag if you wanted to for 200 calories. Seven carbs, but this is a nice, I like this one because it does give you the feeling of mashed potatoes also. Then I picked up another container of Cool Whip Light. I always like having that on hand for yogurt parfaits. I make them all the time, all week long. I picked up two more bags of the chicken cilantro mini wontons. Paige loves these. I might have some of these this week. I don't know, but Paige really, really likes them. And they are nine grams of carbs for four pieces of them. But again, this is a good, you could put these in soup. You can just do them down in a pan. And these are really good. Like if you do eight of them, do two servings. That's a good lunch. I got six cans of my whole green beans. I love these. These are, I, this is the only way I eat green beans. I used to like uh, fresh green beans, but you know, when I discovered these whole green beans, I just, you know, I like them better. So I grabbed those. I also picked up another thing of egg whites. I really like bulking up eggs with egg whites. I prefer egg whites to egg yolks. So for me, I might do one egg and then like even a half a cup of egg whites, something like that. It's just for me, I like the taste better. I needed some mayonnaise, so I picked up some light mayonnaise. Now these are for Paige. I'm not going to do this this week because, again, I know me, and this will start to live too much in the decadent dessert land right now. I'll get to this again, but right now it's not a good move for me. So this is the Nuts and More Chocolate Chip Cookie Dough Peanut Butter. She loves this. I talked about this a couple weeks ago, how much she was really enjoying it. She's a hairdresser. She has Crohn's. And she has trouble eating sometimes, you know, between clients. She has to just quickly eat something. So you know what she's been doing? She will package up maybe two to four tablespoons of this peanut butter. And she said it gets her through. She's happy. She's satisfied. So I picked up four of these for her, which is not, not cheap because they run about 10 bucks at the grocery store per little jar of this. Look at the bottom of that. Oh, my gosh. See, you understand why I can't go there right now on this, but... For her, it works great, so I picked up a bunch for her. She puts it in the freezer. That's how she likes to eat it. So there's that. And then I also grabbed some more pasta, the little wagon wheels. Uh, I don't mind having a little side of pasta. If I measure it, which I will, then it's perfectly fine. I don't want to place a fiber gourmet or a... Um, carbonata order right now because I'm not going to be in St. Louis that much longer. So I, I don't want to have things shipped and have it get here late. So I just picked up some regular pasta and I will measure it and I will be cognizant of how much I'm eating. So I grabbed that and then I picked up some of the bunny bread. Now a couple of you mentioned that when you scan this, when you scan the bunny bread, this version of it, in the Weight Watchers app, it's wrong that these nutrients are wrong. That happens sometimes with Weight Watchers. That, again, that's why I track also in my fitness pal, because it's important to have it right, you know? So 110 calories for two slices. See, to me, 55 calories per slice is very low for a bread this delicious. And that's why I switched back to this, because why would I choose the healthy life 
at 45 calories when it's not nearly as good as this one. So I am putting the correct um, points on the screen here for you, but be aware of that. Sometimes that's why you really have to educate yourself. When I flipped that over, I was like, wait a minute, 110 calories for two slices? Something's wrong. So just be aware. I also picked up a big thing of the quick cook oatmeal. I make this all the time. I got a giant one because my daughter's been eating it as well. So pick that up. And again, that's going to be, that is going to be high in carbs, 27 grams of carbs for a serving. But you know what? It has a ton of fiber and it's healthy carbs. So I, I'm okay with that. We make choices. And again, with choices, I have to have something to help transition me out of the bad habits that I have been making here. So I grabbed some of these caramel rice cakes. I really like these. I don't think they're that bad. 50 calories is very low and 11 grams of carbs for one of these big cakes. I'm okay with that. I can work that in. Just as a reminder, I get 23 Weight Watchers points a day and I personally, through my fitness pal track, I set myself at 50 to 75 total carbs a day. So I can work 11 in, no problem. I also picked up some Rayo's tomato basil just for a little quick cheater sauce. Half a cup is 80 calories, six grams of carbs in that one. And you know what? I am all the way around the table here. That is it. We're done. We're good. I'm going to be going through the refrigerator this week and getting rid of the things that I don't want to eat or be tempted by. So anyway, that's it for my mini grocery haul. And I will see you in the next couple days for another video. And we'll get cooking.